Hey everyone, it's Richard Payne here from Keller Williams Select Realty and the RPM real estate team looking at some stats for you guys to give you the lowdown on what's going on in April. And if you remember, we were really excited about what happened in March because we hit that six months, 6.1 months balanced market. Um, and a few of the factors that were kind of rubbing in with that as well, that we were thinking there's some green shoots here of basically the market picking up and actually getting a little bit more balanced, you know, instead of just being strong buyers market that I've been saying to you guys for like the last five years. So let's have a quick look. So the question is, did it continue? And yes, Basically, we are still at six months inventory on the market. We had 437 sales with 2,600 homes currently on the market and we listed 839. So we actually had a 52% sale to list ratio, which is really good. Like as soon as you get 50% or above, it means you're starting to eat a little bit more into that inventory. Now average price came out for the whole of HRM at $319,500, 97.7, 97% sale to list price ratio. And that's really not changed too much within the HRM area. Um, never seems to worry or like or go up or go down. It tends to be pretty standard to what we're looking at and also 108 days on market again that's never really changed too much like yes some markets get done a lot quicker and some take a little bit slower but on average that's never really changed too much now the interesting thing is you kind of look at the price point and go wow three like 19 and a half is pretty good but it's also up four and a half percent year on year compared to last year as well so that shows that we're really solidifying that price growth which is what we want so let's have a look at some markets so who's the top seller and it was Bedford market they sold 46 homes at an average price of $444,500, which you know is pretty high. Now, the interesting thing here was the 327 days on market. Now, there was one property on Shore Drive, which is kind of this is the end of Shore Drive. So basically Bedford Basin and a much higher price market, like one point something million dollars, I think the property sold for. So that's going to lift that average up, but also it took a long time to sell. So it drags out the number of days on market as well as combining to this, obviously the new stuff that's going on in uh, back end of parks of Bedford West. Cascades, Waterbury Park, new builds, they tend to take a lot longer because number one, there's six months of um, build time factored in there, as well as the fact that they list them with a facsimile on the actual property, so they show up as being quite a long time on market. Now, also when we look at Bedford, four and a half months on market, so that's pretty good because that's now sellers. Five and below sellers, five to seven balanced, seven and above, but buyer's market so they're firmly sitting at the moment anyway in a seller's market now we look at the next one down which was Fairmount Clinton Park Rockingham 4.1 months in retail market $382,000 257 days on market so still a long time to actually get sold and then also the next one down then is Sackville which Sackville is usually on the thing on the uh, the marketplace anyway because it's first time home buyer's market you know we're at $219,000 average price that's firm square in first time home buyers so that should always be moving along quite nicely uh, from a first time home buyer's point of view. So let's look at some of the other slower moving markets. So we look at my home area, which is Fall River. We're sitting here with 12 months on the marketplace. Still sold 16 homes, which is still pretty good for our area. We don't tend to pick up until like late spring. And then in the fall is when we have our historical bumps. But $363,000 average price, 184 days on market. So half a year, still taking quite a while to actually get them sold. And then we look at Kingswood, 9.6 months. And then also Dartmouth, Montebello, 8.9. But the key thing here is, like I'm saying, that it's a bad thing but you know don't forget it's not that long ago that the whole of HRM was sitting at like eight and a half nine months on market yet these are the highest ones on the market right now so that's a sign of some really good growth that we're actually starting to see now if you've got any questions on anything then don't hesitate to give us a call email us subscribe there'll be a button that pops up somewhere saying subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified whenever we do some of these videos and you're always kept informed of everything that's going on so if you have any questions reach out to us we'd love to give you some help